the whole thing wobbing. Hey guys, we continue on with the Madden 25 Ultimate Team Reveals. We have halfbacks and inside linebackers today. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Jose Rodriguez for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, you have until this upcoming Monday to use one of the four NFL Week 1 discounts. Underdog just dropped yesterday. Personally, I really like the Jonathan Taylor one. And they also just dropped four other discounts, which you guys have a couple of hours left to take advantage of these. And if you guys check out Underdog Fantasy right now using code ZERK, you'll get up to $250 in bonus funds, a .5 new user special when you sign up, and only when you guys sign up using code ZERK, you'll also get the Dak Prescott .5 passing yard special, and you'll be ready for all the upcoming code ZERK exclusive specials. All right, guys, so let's go over the top 10 running backs in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Uh, I gotta say this, because this is actually really, really interesting to me. If you guys missed the video that I made yesterday going over the top 10 defensive ends and the DTs, all that, uh, defensive ends, right? Micah Parsons is the fastest one, and he has 84 speed. The fastest running backs are 82 speed. So Micah is two speed faster than any of the top 10 running backs, given maybe there's going to be, you know, like a lower overall, I don't know, maybe a flat 80 or a 79 or 78, somebody like Devon A-Chain potentially, that could be like 84 speed, who knows, uh, but just interesting in my opinion. Uh, as you guys can see though, we have CMC, no doubt about it, should be the top running back, 84 overall, 82 speed, 84 excel, 86 agility, 82 carrying, 84 change of direction, 81 break tackle, 82 catching, tr terrible trucking, uh, but I got to say this as well i do really think that madden 25 is going to be an elusive back game although it kind of depends on your running style but there is a lot to do with the ball carrier moves uh, also with the physics of angles that someone can try to come in at you and you know get a tackle on you weight does matter though weight does matter angle momentum speed strength weight all of that really does factor into the different animations that we're going to see in madden 25 so I personally think it's going to be more of a, you know, evasive back year with the juking and spinning and how good that is, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. That's Christian McCaffrey. Looks pretty good right there. And up next, we have 83 overall Nick Chubb, 81 speed on him, 81 Excel, 74 agility, 82 carrying, uh, 60 catch, 72 change direction. He does have 83 truck and 83 break tackle. So definitely more of a power back, obviously. Then Derrick Henry, 82 speed. I got to say, this is the, the interesting part, right? Like I just mentioned, I feel like it's getting more of an evasive back year. But Derrick Henry is always Derrick Henry. He's always very, very good. 77 acceleration, 75 agility, 81 carrying, 52 catching. That's terrible. 70 change of direction, uh, 83 truck, 83 break tackle. I'm really, really curious to try out this card and then try out somebody like, you know, Saquon Barkley or uh, Christian McCaffrey as here is Saquon Barkley. 82 speed, 82 excel, 84 agility, 79 carrying, 61 catch, 80 change direction, 69 truck, and 82 break tackle. Same speed as CMC. Very good, you know, agile, evasive back as well. I feel like a lot of people, because of the price difference that's going to be between Saquon and CMC, uh, a lot of people probably be rocking out with Saquon at the beginning of the year. After that, Travis Etienne, 80 speed, 81 excel, 80 change of direction, 81 break tackle, 77 agility. We have Josh Jacobs with 80 speed, 81 excel. Uh, he has 77 77 agility, 79 truck, 80 break tackle, 82 carrying. Uh, we have Aaron Jones, 77 speed. That's tough. Uh, he also has 80 excel, 81 agility, 80 carrying. Only a 58 catch for Aaron Jones. Interesting. 80 change of direction, 78 break tackle. Uh, we got Joe Mixon, 78 speed, 78 excel, 77 agility, 79 change of direction. A lot of 70s on this 81 overall card. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, only an 80 overall. I find that really interesting. I think he should be definitely above Joe Mixon, definitely above Aaron Jones, and maybe even above Josh Jacobs, around the same overall as Josh Jacobs. Uh, 80 speed, though, 81 excel, 78 change direction, 77 truck, 77 break tackle. And then the final one, guys, is my guy, Brees Hall. How is he only 79 speed and his catching is a 57? Like, that's, that's crazy, okay? That's actually crazy. 79 speed, 78 excel, uh, 79 change of direction, 79 break tackle, 78 carrying. I don't know how he has 57 catching. When Brees literally had the most receiving yards out of every single running back in the NFL last year, I just think that's a little bit crazy. But Christian McCaffrey, uh, Nick Chubb, those are the top 10 running backs. You guys let me know down below what you think about it. Like I said, I, I think the most interesting part about it, though, is the fact that Micah is 84 speed and the fastest running backs are only 82. 
Now, what do we think they're going to do with Tyreek Hill? Because if the fastest running backs are only 82 speed, Micah Parsons got 84, though. How fast is Tyreek Hill going to be? Is he going to be like 85 speed? Uh, maybe even 86 on an 84 overall, because you have to assume he's going to be 84 overall, of course. Uh, will he get 86 speed and just be that much crazy faster than everybody? Even 85 is still ridiculous, but if Micah got 84, having only one more speed than Micah Parsons for Tyreek Hill, I feel like he should have at least two, but... I don't know. Those are the top 10 running backs. All right, guys. And now we have the top 10 middle linebackers in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. As you guys can see, Fred Warner, of course, the top rated middle linebacker, 84 overall. 80 speed, though. That's tough. 82 Excel, uh, 74 block shed, 82 zone coverage. We also do have Roquan Smith at an 84 overall with 81 speed, 83 Excel, 80 zone coverage on him, 74 block shed, 75 hit power. So a little bit faster than Fred Warner. Uh, we do also have 83 overall Demario Davis with only 80 speed, 80 Excel, 77 hit power, 79 zone coverage. Foya Seda Luacon. Now we get into some 82 speed middle linebackers, which by the way, that's the fastest of the elites anyways. 81 Excel, 70 Block Shed, 78 Zone. Levante David, 80 Speed, again, 78 Zone, 81 Acceleration, 73 Block Shed. CJ Mosley, 80 Speed, 81 Excel, 78 uh, Zone Coverage with that 80 Hit Power. Then we have Bobby Wagner, 52 Zone. Dang. 79 Speed, 81 Excel, uh, does have 83 Tackling on him, 83 Hit Power, 77 Block Shed. That zone is just... That's just tough. 52 is crazy. Tremaine Edmonds, 80 speed, 80 Excel, uh, 75 block shed, 71 zone. We have Tremaine Edmonds, 80 speed, 80 Excel, 76 hit power, and 71 zone coverage on him. Bobby O'Karakey, for an 81 overall to have 82 speed and 82 Excel. Well, there's your somewhat cheaper middle linebacker right there, right? Obviously, just not going to be as expensive as like Fred Warner, but 82 speed. That's good for a user. 79 zone, 82 Excel, as I said. Uh, then we have Shaq Thompson, 78 speed, 79 Excel, 70 zone coverage on him. And those are the top 10 middle linebackers. So again, not a lot of speed here, right? Running backs, middle linebackers, they definitely did not get the most speed, whereas Micah has 84 speed. And I would imagine that the wide receivers, we're going to have a couple of wide receivers with 83 84 speed potentially and then obviously i feel like you know tyree hill's gotta be at least 85 speed you're gonna see a massive difference in between offense and defense i think or at least receivers uh versus linebackers trying to use or cover them over the middle of the field which i'm not saying it shouldn't be that way because it probably should be but i really need to see what the db speed are looking like but with that being said guys those are the top 10 middle linebackers in madden 25 ultimate team and also the top 10 running backs in madden 25 ultimate team let me know down below what you guys think about the ratings here uh between the middle linebackers the running backs who's too high who's too low who got absolutely just destroyed on their ratings that 52 zone on Bobby Wagner is so nasty I can't lie and then I feel like Jonathan Taylor's definitely too low uh Brees Hall's catching uh, how do you lead all running backs and catches and receiving yards and not have decent catching I don't really understand that one but with that being said guys I hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure to drop a like video and hit that sub button down below make sure to check out underdog fantasy use code zerk follow me over on twitter for my picks may have another video for you guys later today be on the lookout either which way though you're gonna start to see me ramp up over here with all the videos especially this weekend we're still waiting to see we're gonna get like a mutt full deep dive don't really know and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these